been one of the most outspoken women of The View for more than a decade, taking everything on from a president to Bill O'Reilly. And during the birther debate, she seldom held back, challenging every conspiracy theory that the current president, Barack Obama, was not born in Hawaii. And here's what she had to say about the latest birther, Donald Trump, the day the president released his official Hawaii birth certificate. Came from humble beginnings. He didn't. He wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Au contraire, Donald was. <laughs> and so he can't understand it. How come I couldn't get into Harvard and this guy can? Well, because he's great. And he's you know, this is not the only hot topic Behar is passionate about. She's also an outspoken advocate for dogs and cats as well. And joining us live from New York City, courtesy Fresh Step, is Joe Behar. Good morning and aloha, Joy. Aloha. I can't believe you're having snow in Honolulu. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We always thought it was we well, always thought it was in the high 80s, right? Oh my god. I don't have to come to Hawaii. I can, oh, I can go to Maine. It'll clear up really soon, <laughs> we promise. So okay. jo Joy, before we get to uh, your beloved cats, let's talk politics for just a second. Um, Sarah Palin in the news these days going on her One Nation bus tour. She visited the city the other day including the Statue of Liberty. Uh, are you surprised she didn't stop by the view? Yeah, you know, I'm shocked that she didn't come by. We're, we're so sweet to her. <laughs> what, what do you think of her bus tour these days? Look, if she's not running for president, then she's just another lady on a bus going to a casino. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make a decision, Sarah. Joy, you, you know... know yeah, go ahead. One of the most talked about episodes of The View was when you and Whoopi Goldberg walked off the set when Bill O'Reilly was talking about Muslims. And that happened last year, so have you and O'Reilly made amends? Oh, yeah, we're fine now. I mean, because he apologized. He apologized right then and there, which is why we came back on the set. And, Joy, uh, we also want to talk to you about uh, what you're advocating here, about your, the cats that um, yes. you're talking about. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing there. Okay, now, according to the ASPCA, there are 4 million kittens and cats that go into shelters every year. And it probably will continue like that unless people step up and start to adopt these these uh, little creatures that we love so much. So I've partnered this. I've partnered up with Fresh Step Litter and the ASPCA to encourage shelters around the country to waive the adoption fee. That way, people will be more encouraged to adopt a cat, an adult cat. Uh, and everybody wins that way. The operational costs are reduced for the um, for the shelter. People don't have to pay the uh, the fee, and the cats get a home. So it's it's a one it's a great idea I think and I hope that a lot of shelters will participate in that. It is a wonderful program, Joy, and we're so glad that you are advocating for these animals. We do have to ask you. We heard that you called the Queen of England a bumblebee because she was dressed in yellow during the <laughs> royal wedding. Is that true? I believe I said she looked like an alcoholic bumblebee. Oh. If you must get it, just That's get it straight. That's even better. <laughs> And believe me, they did not love that in England because, you know, the queen is quite sacred. But listen, I'm a comedian. That's what I do. And, and you know, Joy, <laughs> when, the, when we were all talking about this royal wedding thing, I kind of criticized uh, a couple of people because I think we had too many royal stories. And I was saying that it's almost un-American to be talking about the royal family so much. But um, I, lo I loved your comment. I thought it was funny. Well, you know, listen, uh, they're, they're a big welfare family, let's face it. They're on the dole in England. And, and we, you know, we, we fought, fought for independence from England, so I don't see why we have, have to revere it and bow down to them. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm right with you. Well, please yeah. promise that you're going to come to Hawaii when the sun comes back out, okay? <laughs> okay, when will that be? Um, very, very soon, <laughs> according to, to Amber. Can I say one more thing about yeah. the cat adoption? If you can't adopt a cat because people are allergic or whatever the reason, they have, they have children that don't want to have cat around, whatever, um, they can go to the Fresh Step Facebook page, which is, I always have to read it because I can, facebook.com slash Fresh Step. You think <laughs> I would remember that by now. Um, and uh, click on like, and Fresh Step will donate a dollar up to $100,000 to the ASPCA and other programs like this. So you can still do that if you can't adopt a, a cat. All right, month. Joe Behar joining us uh, live from New York City. Always good to talk to you and see you. Thank you for joining us here this morning. Thank you, guys. See you later, Joy. And Aloha. if you'd like to see her and the rest of the women on The View right here on KITV4, you can tune in every weekday morning at 7 a.m. Time now is 5.53. We'll be right back.